So this video demonstrates uh, my tool changer running in Fluid NC utilizing the M6 tool change command. So the big question is, does it provide enough clamping force so as not to slip in the cutter? So I've set up some scrap aluminum. This is an 800 watt spindle. We're taking a depth of cut of 4.75 millimeters or it's a 3 16th inch cutter so I'm taking 3 16th of depth of cut and a 60 thousandths optimal load so every time it moves over it's cutting 60 thousandths or about a millimeter and a half and the feed rate is 50 inches a minute or about 1270 millimeters per minute. As you can hear I'm really amazed that this 800 watt spindle is able to uh, make this heavy of a cut. If there's any question whether the collet is getting tight enough to hold that cutter without slipping, I'd say this is the proof right here. Originally I just wanted a tool rack where uh, I could use the spindle to spin the tool on and off and I thought to myself well could the spindle itself provide the clamping torque and I didn't really think that it would be sufficient but I figured if I could pick the tool up and drop it off, that would save me time looking for my wrenches, looking for my tools, you know. And um, I assumed that I'd have to put a pause in the program and tighten and loosen the nut so that, uh, you know, there'd be sufficient clamping force. Well, as it turns out, I built a prototype and amazingly, I was able to get it to tighten the collet nut tight enough to, uh, to make good cuts. However, dropping the tool off became a problem. It, it wouldn't leave it in the right orientation. So I've basically been developing this for about the last seven months. And I've gone through hundreds of iterations and design changes and materials used. All the magic happens below the retaining cap. In the end, I have come up with the system. Since I've answered the design problems, this has been running extremely reliably. In fact, I haven't had it fail once. Although I do have uh, a sensor system internally that tells the machine whether it's dropped the tool off or not and will pause the program. Um, actually, it tries to drop it off again and then pauses the program if it fails uh, with an M0 command so that the user can get the tool off and proceed but I haven't had it fail since perfecting it this far it has um, made hundreds and hundreds of tool changes I've built this one into the table although I'm working on developing a universal type system which could be mounted to an existing machine or incorporated into a DIY build I believe this could really be a game changer for people who have these kinds of spindles on their machine or who are looking to build a machine this machine currently has an 800 watt spindle running on a Huan Yang VFD. The spindle itself is performing way better than I thought it would. I'm able to get some pretty heavy cuts in aluminum, steel. Aluminum, it cuts like butter, leaves a mirror finish. It's, it's really incredible. So I'm really interested to get some reaction on this. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.